Welcome back to Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much barefaced. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth. So viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Y'all, I'm so excited for today's video because I get to play with new makeup because I love new makeup and I have a lot of it. <laughs> So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Angela Bright palette from Sigma, which I'm so excited about because I just wanna slap it all over my face. We also have the new blush from Lawless, as well as the highlighting palette from Give Beauty, and the new MAC Radiant Bronzer. But before I jump into it, because I did my base, as you can see, I look like a glowing potato, I do wanna point out one thing. There is lack of music, and I had a lot of comments that were like, hey, where's the music? Is everything okay? Are you okay in there? Where's the music? And the reason for that is it's because it got copyright claimed and I can't use it anymore. So if I want to make the pennies that I make on these videos, I would like those pennies because I deserve it. I need to pick either different music or have no music. So this is a poll for y'all. Let me know down below. Do you want new music or do you want no music? Lock in your answers below. And it's totally fine if you hate the music and you're like, I don't want to hear any music again. Like maybe if you put like drips and drives here and there, that's fine. But for the most part, don't include any music. Let me know because I want to make content that you want to watch, okay? At the end of the day, I want to make stuff that you also find enjoyable. And if you really do not like music, I want to know that. I want to know what my baby likes, okay? So my babies, what do you want? Do you want me to find new music or do you want no music? <laughs> Anyways, I am super excited because when I'm filming this video it's technically Sunday but y'all will see this on Monday and I get to see my co-workers today ah! I know I know I'm like honestly I'm like geeking the fuck out because I I, I haven't really seen anybody right and since moving now that the team kind of changed over six times due to great hirings I <laughs> Now I have some people that actually work in my state and I get to have lunch with them and it's so fucking exciting and I, I'm just, I feel, I feel like I'm going to school. Like I'm really excited to go see my coworkers today. <sighs> anyway, so uh, in today's video, we are just going to do like a very cash kind of a look. Nothing too wild, you know. I don't want to scare the shit out of them. Yeah, they're probably gonna be like, you're wearing a lot of a lot of makeup right now. And I'll be like, oh, this? Oh, you mean this? 30 pounds of highlighter on my face? Oh, don't mind me. We're gonna try to make like a nice, normal brunch look. So that's what we're gonna do today. Before I jump into the eyeshadow palette, which I just wanna fucking, that's the only thing I really wanna play with today. I'm going to do the bronzer first because I look really uncooked chicken-like and we need to like liven me up. I feel like I look like a ghost. <laughs> Like you're just talking to a ghost. Well, no, I'm talking to you, so you're just listening to a ghost. Yeah, that sounds right. Anyway, how are y'all doing? I'm good, y'all. <laughs> I'm so good. So this product is a Radiant Light Bronzer. It's from MAC. This is the Skin Finish Sunstruck. I want to say Sun Suck so badly. Sun Suck. <laughs> Sunstruck, not Suck. Struck. Radiant Bronzer. I have it in the shade uh, Light Rosy. And I also have the matte version too. I haven't played with that one yet. But I figured, you know what? Let's do something luminous today. I want to look like a luminous cupcake. So we're going to do luminous. In another video in the future, I will do the matte one and we'll see which one reigns supreme. I'm going to take my Lethal Cosmetics number 110. This is a contour brush. I like it because it's small because sometimes like I go back and I like a big fluffy brush for bronzer, but sometimes I'm like, I want something a little bit more precise. So we're going to go in with something a little bit more precise. And I hope that this is a good color for me. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yay. It's not cool tone by any means, but it's a very, very beautiful, like, uh, I would say maybe neutral with a hint, a little bit of warmth to it, but not too much where it just looks really fucking off-putting, like I fucked Snooki or anything like that. This is nice. Anyway, so yeah, I'm super, super excited um, to hang out with my coworkers and talk shit. Oh my God, I love talking shit. <laughs> So I'm super excited to do that today. And ooh, yesterday, I didn't vlog at all because I'm a bad YouTuber, but I went to Spookkella, which I wanna call Spookala, with Betty Jean and Allie Dawson, as well as our respective husbands. And uh, that was fun. It was a lot of fun. I got to see a sloth. I got to see a sloth. I couldn't hold it. Actually, I didn't even go up to and hold it. I was afraid to hold it because I knew I would run away with it. <sighs> And it was, the booth was kind of weird. It, it was like one of those booths where it's like, you know, you just, you can't take pictures around it because they'll just yell at you. I had to look at the sloth very like longingly, like, <sighs> so that's what I did. Uh, 
But I was like, oh my god, I need to go hug a sloth, which I know you can do down here. I just have to go. I just go hug a sloth, be one with the sloth. I'm so excited about that. But it was a lot of fun at the convention. Oh, this is such a good bronzer. I love, I'm obsessed. This is good. I was a little scared because I was like, oh, okay, it's radiant. Usually when they say radiant, there's some sort of like micro glitter bullshit sheen, but there really isn't though. There is a little bit of a sheen, but it's not like craft glitter. It's just like a nice like luminescence without it being too much. This is pretty. And I also really love the color. It looks really natural. So if you are like me, you are uncooked chicken. I think light rosy is gonna be your cup of tea. I love this bronzer. I think it's so pretty. I have been having really, really good luck finding a lot of great bronzers. And it's so funny because I feel like when I first started YouTube and kind of really just loving and being obsessed with makeup, I didn't really have that many bronzers because I felt like I could never find the right one. And the few ones that I do have that I still love, you know, do I really love them? I feel like I found better products that I'm just like way more obsessed about. But this is really, really nice. Again, I love the luminosity of it. I think it's really, really pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some blush and we're gonna go in with Lawless. And I'm super excited about this because I really love the products that I have tried from Lawless lately. And I'm hoping that this doesn't really disappoint me. Fingers crossed. Anyway, so this is the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in the shade Watermelon. Watermelon Baby. Ooh, ooh, that's a fucking Barbie pink. I love it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so Spookula was great. Had a beautiful time, Um, but... <laughs> One of my favorite things though, which is actually before the convention, have you ever heard of The Villages? If you haven't, Google it. Um, the Villages is, um, I think it's the, <laughs> how do I put this? It's a 55 plus community. And I mean, they just don't give a shit. They just fucking everybody. And it's just very interesting. But um, anyway, there's like this kind of like lore that if, there, if your car or golf cart, because this place is so fucking huge, people just have golf carts. If there's a loofah on your golf cart or car, it means like you're kind of like, like into it, like you're like, you're, you're down to fucking. Anyway, so <laughs> as um, me, Alex, uh, Allie, and Corey were driving, we happened to be passing by the infamous villages, which is very nice, very nice, I have to say. I don't know if I see myself uh, when I turned 55 going to the villages, but you know what, it's very nice. There was a car and the car had a purple loofah. Uh, we had to Google what purple means. Purple means they like to watch. They like to watch. That's what started the trip. And I was like, oh, today's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> and it was, it really was. Anyway, so we're gonna take this and we're going, ooh, oh, uh -huh. oh bitch. Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh, I am ador I'm adorable. We're definitely going to buff this out because I think I put, <laughs> put on way too much product and I just keep adding more because I love looking like a possessed. I'm just so excited today. I love looking like a possessed doll. I really feel like this is the first day of school. I really do. Um. <laughs> Anyway, this is, I love this. I mean, I trust me. Like, you would talk shit with me, right? Can you believe Becky from accounting? Yeah, she's a bitch. I love it. <laughs> um, okay. I'm just gonna take a powder brush and just blend those suckers in. Oh, that's nice. I just wanna add a little bit more though. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm extra when it comes to blush. You know what, we could add a little bit more here. This looks cute though, I like it a lot. I think what I wanna do though is take a little bit more of the SAR stuck. <laughs> no, suck, yes, whatever. This fucking thing, I wanna take this and I wanna add a little bit more just to my bits and bobs. Just to kind of blend this in a little bit more. This is adorable, I love this. I'm very, very happy that we have two amazing products. And now moving on to Give Beauty, this is the Check My Glow. In the last video where, oh, fucking, this packaging sucks, man. The last video that I did of uh, trying new makeup, we tried the bronzer contour thing, and that's fucking good. So I'm really, really hoping that this highlighter is everything that it's going to be. Because if it's not, then this is a fucking shame. We're gonna take a nice little fan brush, and I love this because it has like a nice little checkerboard pattern. Not sure if you could see that if my lights are blowing it out, but it has like white, pink, and like a little bit of like a, a light peach color. So I'm just gonna kinda just go through all of it, tap off that excess. Oh, oh, excuse me, bitch. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, that's fucking pretty. This is everything that I want in a highlighter. So what I want to do though, is just to kind of blend it in a little bit more seamlessly because it kind of feels like it's sitting on top of the skin a little bit. I'm just going to take the same brush that I use the blush, not using any more product, just whatever's on the brush left. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna slowly kind of pounce and buff on top of that highlighter. Yeah, that looks better, okay. For a minute it was like, ooh, I like it, but it just looked too stark white, like just a stripe on my face. But 
and you kind of blend it in with the blush brush. That looks nice. I look so fucking cute. I look like, like a little button. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to my favorite thing in the whole world. Eyeshadow palette. Actually, that's not true. Highlighter is my favorite thing in the whole world. But in today's video, my favorite thing is the Sigma palette. So Angela Bright and Sigma did a collaboration that came out the other day. I should have mentioned this before. I'm sorry. I purchased everything in this video with the exception of this eyeshadow palette. So please don't disappoint me. <laughs> But Sigma was kind enough to send this my way. So thank you so much, Sigma. Thank you so much, Angela. It came in this beautiful, beautiful box, which is gorgeous. And in the box, you had three different things. One thing that is just, I, I just, this is lost on me because I don't fuck with lashes. But you have some lashes here, which if you're into that sort of thing, that's really nice. But for me, it's kind of lost on me. But whatever, I'm just gonna shove that back in the box. In addition to the palette, there also was all of Angela's favorite brushes. So in today's video, I'm gonna also use Sigma brushes because I have used some in the past. I have liked some, but I also have not liked some. <laughs> so we're going to try some today. But initially what I do like about this brush and what I love about Angela is that she has hooded eyes and the brushes in her collection are hooded eye friendly. So that just makes me even more fucking happier. So this is what the palette looks like. It's pretty. It's a basic bitch palette. I fucking love it. It's so good. I think what I want to do is kind of use that green, that shade Faye. Oof. I mean, it's a little much for brunch, right? Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Should I do Hollywood? Hollywood would actually match my nails, but I have pink. Pink and green go, ooh, champagne problems. Fuck. Oh, autumn. That's pretty too, that's pretty too. I think I need to go with Faye because it's green and green goes with pink in my opinion. And um, why not look really done the fuck up for brunch? Okay, I need to impress them. <laughs> I need to impress my colleagues. I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid. So I primed my eyes using a little bit of the Kaleidos primer. And I think I just want to be very, very simple with this. I'm going to go into the shade Peachy. Basically just going to be using Peachy and Cold Brew and Fang. I'm just going to be using like these three shades. So I'm going to go in with the uh, E42. We're going to take the shade Peachy. <sighs> There is a little bit of kick up, but that's okay. Oh, this is a very thin, thin brush. Okay. You know what's so funny? I don't remember this brush. Where the fuck was this brush? If you have hooded eyes, this is kind of fucking perfect. Now, I really like natural hair brushes. That's why it's like I don't really have a lot of favorite synthetic brushes. I like how the product picks up with the natural hair brush, but this is really nice though. And I really appreciate that it's on the firmer side. The bristles are not like spraying everywhere where it's just like, okay, I don't know where the fuck it's going. It's very concentrated. That's really, really nice. All right. I'm gonna take the E33 and I'm gonna take that shade Cold Brew. I'm just gonna put that right in the crease. I'm gonna blend that into that peachy shade. That looks really, really nice. I like how soft it is. And it's blending really beautifully with that peachy shade. Just gonna throw in a little bit more product. So I'm gonna go back into the uh, E42. I'm just gonna blend those two together. What I really, really appreciate about this brush is that I feel like it's doing the work for me. So I'm not spending too much time jerking it off. From the crease to the brow, it looks like a really nice gradient blend. And I really appreciate that it's not taking too much time at all to do this. Now, what I will say is though, that brown shade kind of overtook a little bit of that peachiness. So we're just gonna go back in and we're just gonna kind of build up that peachy color. But I think that's a me problem. I think I flew a little bit too close to the sun. I was just getting too excited blending. <laughs> So I'm gonna take the E27. I don't know if this is the appropriate brush to do this because it feels a little bit more flat. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of NYX Glitter Glue. And I don't know if, uh, let me see, could I use this brush? We're gonna try the E57, the Firm Shader. I don't know if this is gonna be great for it, but we're gonna try it out though. Usually I like using my rougher brushes or uh, my One Lethal Cosmetics brush for shimmers, but we're gonna try this though. Oh yeah, this is, this is what I wanted. This is everything that I wanted to be. So I'm going to do this to the other side and then we're gonna come back with the lip and then we're gonna wrap this baby up. Cause I gotta go meet my coworkers. I am so excited. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to the lips. And you know, I really wanna try this from Lawless. This is the Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Balm Stick. So I had it la- Oh no, no, ooh. I thought this was going to be like the actual gloss. I'm an idiot. Uh <laughs> No, I thought I got the gloss. I thought there was a gloss. Mm, whatever. Anyway, this is really nice. I like this. This is the kind of product that would just live in my bag. I am giving you full Barbie gum fantasy, bitch. Oh my God. I don't think it goes. <laughs> 
but I like it though. I think it's really pretty. But I do want to throw, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, fuck it. We're going to throw this on top of it. So ColourPop launched some Luxe lip oils. Um, I don't know if, they, they must be fairly new. I don't remember seeing anything on Trend Mood about them, but I think you could pick these up in Target as well as ColourPop. So thank you so much, Daddy, for sending these my way. I used this shade the other day, Smirk. Bitch. Yeah. This is exactly what I wanted. So this is kind of making this not so uh, real estate-y. <laughs> Not so much, my name is Bunny. You know, it's kind of being a little bit more like, I don't know, not a lot lizard, I guess. <laughs> But I really like these lip oils because I actually really like them more than the Rare Beauty ones. The Rare Beauty ones are kind of disappointing. I like how they feel and then within 10 minutes they disappear. These though have better longevity and they feel super comfortable. And I really, really like this shade Smirk. Usually ColourPop lip products are very hit or miss for me. Not this one. This one's great. I mean, I, <laughs> bitch, I look precious. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about these products before I go have brunch with my new friends. Okay. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm such a geek. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> First of all, I love ha everything. I love everything, said I. Yeah, bitch, I love everything. Not a bad thing to say. I just hope to continue to like them in the future. Um, <laughs> but let's talk about the bronzer first. This is great. This is great. If you are someone that wants a radiant bronzer without the craft sparkle glitter, this is great. No Joanne fabric fuckery here. Like, this is very, very smooth. It's a nice, beautiful, neutral albeit warm leaning neutral option that looks like your sun kiss without the melanoma. So we love this. I hope to continue to like this. We'll see how longevity lasts today. I'll leave a pinned comment to let you know if I look like a fucking melted candle by the time they serve me my whatever I get for brunch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, so far so good, but I've been enjoying this. Plus I really like the packaging. It kind of reminds me of an ornament. I love it. But this is the shade Light Rosy. So if you're on cooked chicken, that's a great option. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Jones Road, the Dusty Rose. Although this, oh my God. <gasps> Bitch, <gasps> I hit fucking pan on this. <sighs> oh my God. Uh, can, can I, Okay, I need to mark today. I'm recording this June 11th. June 11th is the day that I hit, I hit, me, me, this bitch that has a lot of fucking makeup. I hit fucking pan. Oh my God. I feel like I should be thanking people. <laughs> I think the Academy. Um, oh my God. And it's so funny because I touched it because I just wanted to show you like the difference of swatches between that shade, which I mean, the Jones Road one is amazing. That's more of like a rosier bronzer. The Mac is definitely on the warmer side for sure. But oh my God, I fucking, <laughs> this is exciting. I, I, wow. It just goes to show how much I suck that thing's dick. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jones Road. Not everything is amazing, but the bronzer, I could, I could fucking literally, I, I need to buy a, ba I need to buy a backup. Aw, that's so cute. And like, actually like buy a backup fully knowing that I'm really going to be using the bronzer. Oh, okay. I, that I honestly, I, we should end the, we should end the video here. <laughs> Where do I go from here? I don't even know. Oh my God. I fucking, I can't believe it. So yeah, th this is fantastic, but not as fantastic as the Jones Road. Just saying. Um, uh, but no, no, this is really good. The Mac is really good. Hopefully it continues to stay that way. Um, the next thing would be from Lawless Velvet Blush. Everything that I wanted it to be. This is a very beautiful, bright fucking pink, summer pink color. This is giving me casino floor vibes and I'm here for it. I'm channeling my inner hooker and I'm obsessed. So this is in the shade watermelon. I think it's really, really pretty. And I really like that you can go from possessed Annabelle doll to just more like, you know, a softer kind of a blush moment. I think this paired very, very well with the bronzer as well as the highlighter. I want to get more of their blushes. So I want to see what they have currently. And then maybe I might pick up one or two or just fucking just, you know, wait, <laughs> wait for Sephora sale to pick up other ones. But I want to see, I feel like there's a purple one and I kind of want to try the purple one a little bit, but this is giving me life. It's giving me everything and I'm fucking obsessed. So we love her and I hope the longevity is solid, much like the powder foundation or just like the setting powder, whatever the fuck that one powder that they came out with. That's fantastic. So I kind of hope that it, it has the longevity of that, but so far so good. I'm obsessed. And then of course, moving on to Give Beauty. You know, I talk a lot of shit about this brand because I was like, ah, I don't really understand it. What is this? Like, <laughs> uh, but it's, 
it's actually pretty good. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. I really like this highlighter. I think it's really, really pretty. It's the kind of highlighter though that you really need to buff into the skin, otherwise it kind of sits on top of it. But who cares? Beyond that, I thought this was really, really nice. So I have it in the shade Platinum Cowgirl. And I, I feel like a Platinum Cowgirl. Yeah. I was gonna say something really disgusting, but I am going to reserve that uh, for my brain. <laughs> and that's why I laughed. <laughs> Y'all would have looked at me differently. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, I'm just gross, okay. <laughs> This is good though, I like it. I, and I actually wanna try more products from the brand. It makes me, dare I say, tempted to try their eyeshadows. I know. So I kind of want to see what else they have, but I don't feel like I need to go run and pick that up, if that makes any sense. Like I like so far what I see, and I'm glad that I picked this one up along with the bronzer contour duo thing. But um, the other stuff that's already existing, I'm going to pick it up, but I'm just going to wait for a sale because I don't think it's, I don't know, it's not enough for me to like want to try it, if that makes sense. Like if they had like some other complexion product, like maybe a blush or something like that, I'd be like, okay, bitch, I'm interested. Actually, I got to see if they do have a blush. If they have a blush, I'd be more interested probably than the eyeshadows and the eyeliners and stuff like that. But listen, if you're looking to check out this highlighter, Platinum Cowgirl, <laughs> she's sick, she's good. She's an alien slut. She's very food poisoning. She has the meat sweats. This is perfect. So A plus for this one. And then moving on to the eyeshadow palette. So we have the Sigma Angela Bright palette. Like I said before, this is a basic bitch palette, but it's everything. Now when it comes to Sigma eyeshadows, there have been some palettes that I am obsessed with. Like the, oh God, shit. There's a neutral palette. I can't think of the name of it. I'll just pop it up right here. I could look, it's like literally right there. I'm pointing at it, but you don't see it. It's whatever. I'll put, <laughs> I'll put it right here. That one I love. Um, but then the Cinderella palette, I fucking hate it. So it's kind of interesting. So I'm always a little like side eye <laughs> when it comes to their palettes. This formula reminds me of that neutral palette that I love. Now granted, I only used three shades for today's look, but the mattes, especially cold brew and as well as peachy, were wonderfully pigmented. They blended very, very beautifully together. I will say though, I did use a little bit too much cold brew, so I kind of lost a little bit of the peachiness, but once you start to kind of add a little bit more peach, it balanced out. I'm not experiencing any sort of patchiness or I didn't have any difficulty blending or anything like that. They are very, very pigmented and with that pigmentation, you kind of get a little bit fearful that it's going to just fall like shit all over your face because there's going to be so much fallout, but there was wasn't. There actually wasn't any fallout at all. I'm actually really thoroughly fucking surprised. I don't know what which crap's in this, but I love it. There is some kick up, but there was no fallout. I know. I know. I know. I don't know. You know what actually? Ooh, you know what I want to do right now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot to do an inner corner moment. I know. Who am I? I'm just going to pop a little bit of this shade bright and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I just realized, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm fucking up here. Uh, yes. Obviously, you see, I'm too fucking excited that I'm going to be meeting my coworkers today. So I just, I'm just like racing, racing, racing. I love it. I love it. So good. Obviously, I want to keep playing with it. But for first impressions and just using this section of the palette, I really, really like it. I think my look looks really cute. Is it the most amazing thing ever? No, but I think it's really, really solid. And it kind of just pulls in this lot lizard look to looking uh, somewhat business professional. Albeit a little daring for a brunch date, but whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I am extra as fuck and they'll they'll soon realize that in person. <sighs> They've only seen me on Zoom. <laughs> They're going to be like we're never doing this again. <laughs> Bye, Teresa. I'm like, no, love me. Anyway, I can't wait to continue to use this palette because it's so pretty. I love how simple it is. It kind of has everything that you need, day and night, and I feel like I can make a lot of different fun looks with this palette. This palette will probably come with me to New York. It has a little bit of everything, but most importantly, it has this fucking green that makes me look like a see you next Tuesday. So, I love it. <laughs> So of course, I'll let you know later in the month if I'm still loving it, but so far so good. So congratulations, Miss Angela Bright. This is fantastic. Oh, I forgot to mention the brush set. This is nice. I actually really, really enjoyed it. If you have hooded eyes, this is something worth checking out. Honestly, I think my favorite ones were the E33 and the E42. The, if you have hooded eyes, these are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for the hooded eyes. Also, I gotta say, E57, pretty good as a shimmer packer shade. I thought I didn't have any issues with it. The other two, I I, I kind of used them a little bit, but I feel like they were just like a little bit too big for me. The detail blending, which is E27 and the E28, they were okay. They weren't like groundbreaking in my opinion compared to the other ones but I still want to use them to kind of play around with them. Maybe maybe I was using them incorrectly, but definitely those crease brushes, holy shit, those are definitely worth checking out. So moving on to lips, we only have two lip products that we use today. First of all, the Lawless, the Balm. This is the kind of product that would just like live in my bag forever and ever and ever. I love that bright pink moment. It's out there, it's exciting. Um, I. 
again, look like I belong in a casino floor. And I drink Tom Collins and I smoke a lot of cigarettes. But I like it. I think it's really fucking cute. And mixed with the ColourPop lip oil, I think I definitely toned it down from Lot Lizard to See You Next Tuesday. So... <laughs> I think it's really cute and I hope my coworkers enjoy it. But in terms of formula though, the Lawless Balm, very comfortable to wear. And again, it's one of those products that would just live on my back as like something that kind of like quickly touch up. And the balm I felt like was very, very nourishing, very, very soft. And as you know, I have incredibly dry lips. So a product like this where it feels very nourishing and comfortable is something that is just going to be with me forever. So, so far so good. And in terms of lip oil, this is the second day that I'm playing with it. And I like it. I think it's really nice. I think it has a beautiful opacity. It's comfortable and it's not sticky and it doesn't fucking disappear pure like a rare beauty ones. It's just good. It's really good. So there are a lot of shades. Again, I'll just put the links down below for stuff. But um, if you're ever interested in wanting to pick it up, it's available in ColourPop as well as Target. So this is one of those perfect purchases in Target. Like, you know, you're only going there to get one thing, but you wind up with $500 in your cart. This is one of those products where you're like, oh, okay, well, I had to get it. It's life changing. <laughs> But this is good so far. I like it. And even though I've just been like rambling on and talking and talking and talking, it's not bleeding into the outer corners. Again, I feel really, really comfortable. And I can't wait to touch up my lips later today with this. Honestly, the combination of these two. I'm gonna be extra as fuck and bring both of them with me. Anyway, um, I like this. I like this. I like the overall look and I'm liking the products and that's a first. Usually there's something horrible I have to say about one of them. No, I, I like them all. Today was a good day, and I feel like this is gonna set the course for amazing shit talking session that I'm gonna have with my coworkers. Any hoosies, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products. If you love them, if you hate them, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Really, see you next. Tuesday. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to like gobble you all up so you could live inside my belly and we could be one and we could have like the best time ever. And it'd be really cute and we could be like little lot lizards. It'd be great. <laughs> if you want to know what is currently on my face, everything that I mentioned in today's video mixed with the stuff that you didn't see me apply, which, which by the way, my base looks flawless. Everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.